Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from December 15th to the 26th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Leo, is the King of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the moon in reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with the King of Cups. I do strongly feel that there is somebody here ready to come in and offer you love. Um, could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or you could have Cancer Scorpio Pisces strong in your chart. We're going to find out more about this when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Leo, you have the Four of Cups, the Temperance, and the Five of Cups. I feel like somebody here in the recent past tried to offer you love, okay? This is somebody who may have put you in a third-party situation. This may have been somebody here who um, really disappointed you. There was a very strong energy here of disappointment. I feel like a lot of time passed between you and this person, and that's when they finally maybe decided to come back can offer you love but you may have not been interested now this could have been also vice versa maybe you put someone here in a third party situation water sign cancer scorpio pisces and uh you know maybe you tried to offer them love okay after you know some period of time passed we're going to clarify this and get more information about it in a moment now in the present moment you have the page of swords the seven of wands and the six of uh, swords I feel, Leo, in the present moment, a lot of you are choosing to disconnect from something in the present moment, okay? Or somebody, maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, deciding to disconnect from you. The reason why someone here is deciding to disconnect from you is because a lot of you may be in this place of needing to protect your energy. You may be in this place of like, you know what, I need to protect myself. I don't know if I really want to open myself up to every everybody here. Somebody here is watching or spying you, spying on you in the present moment, okay? Um, and it could be because you've decided to disconnect yourself. I don't know. We're going to clarify and find out more in a moment now in the near future you have the queen of swords the six of uh wands and the high priestess i feel like you're not talking to somebody here in the near future okay there's a lot of silence there's definitely some sort of disconnect i feel leo that you're really focused on your success here in the near future your business your success whatever it is that you're doing here okay i do see somebody wanting to talk to you in the near future maybe an air sign aquarius labor gemini i'm also getting pisces we're going to clarify and get more information in a moment now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the moon ace of pentacles hangman ace of cups devil and the queen of cups in reverse okay so what you don't see coming is is that there is an offer of love and financial uh, opportunity that is coming in for you but the reason why maybe it's not happening for you is because a lot of you have decided to maybe disconnect from someone um that you thought you were going to have a new beginning with or you thought you were going to have um, you know, some sort of business opportunity here. I think the reason why you're choosing to disconnect from this person or this person's choosing to disconnect from you, Leo, is because there's something very toxic that this person doesn't want to be involved in. Some of you have been in an, um, involved in, um, I feel like a casual connection. It's been very casual. It's just kind of been like, oh, we're going to see how things go. This person doesn't want that. They want something solid with you. Okay. That's why your challenge here is the king of cups. Cause whoever this person is, they're coming in. They're like, look, I like you. I want you. Do you want me? Let's not play these games. Okay. So if we're going to be together, we're going to be together. If we're not going to be together, let's go our separate ways. Okay. Um, so what you don't see coming is someone's going to tell you the truth. Someone's going to tell you what they want and you, it, may, it may be very unexpected, right? You may even be telling somebody, okay, apply it to how you need to apply it. Some of you are going to be telling somebody, look, this is how it is. You don't like it too bad. Sorry. You know, um, and others of you are going to hear that from somebody else that you're dealing with, you know, like, look, if you want to be with me, let's do it. If you don't want to be with me, don't waste my time. Okay. That's how, what I'm seeing here. What you don't see coming because somebody here wants a commitment with you. And there hasn't been a commitment. There either hasn't been a commitment or there's a disconnect um, from a marriage here. Okay. But either way, somebody wants, you know, a new beginning. They want to have this opportunity with you and they're going to make it clear. And then you may have to decide if this is something that you truly want moving forward. Okay. So that's what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge, which is the King of Cups. Ooh, 
Okay, so the King of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups. You have the Fool and the Nine of Swords. So your biggest challenge here is uh, somebody here who really likes you, okay? I'm getting Earth sign uh, or Water sign, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting Aries, maybe an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra, okay? Whoever this person is, they want to have a new beginning with you. They want to have a new beginning with you. They want things to per proceed moving forward. Um, your biggest challenge here is an offer of love that's coming in. Um, it's very much unexpected. This person wants to have a new beginning this person's worried that you may not have a new beginning with them they're worried that it's not even going to happen and for some of you you may decide not to have a new beginning with this person but right now your biggest challenge is to possibly have a new beginning with somebody here who really likes you who really wants you but also believes that there probably isn't going to be a new beginning between you and them okay so that's your challenge that's what i'm seeing now in the recent past let's clarify the five of cups The Five of Cups is clarified by the Six of Swords. You have the Queen of Wands and the Tower. So what I'm seeing here in the recent past is a lot of you decided to maybe disconnect or someone decided to disconnect from you because there was a third party situation. There's something here that shook the foundation of your relationship with this person. I feel like trust was definitely compromised here in the past. Um, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, maybe a Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that there was something here that came to an end. It stopped working. And because it stopped working, it stopped having stability here. A lot of you may have became um, very disinterested or somebody here became very uh, much disinter disinterested. Excuse me. Um, disinterested because it became very difficult to kind of get things to work here in the past. I'm also seeing a lot of time passed. You know, a lot of time went time, time passed, passed, passed. And then, you know, you may have came to a point where you were like, do I even still want this? You know, um, again, some of you, there was a lot of trust issues I'm getting as well in, in the past. Okay. So something here didn't work out the way that maybe you wanted it to, because the timing wasn't right. Number one, and things weren't built on a solid foundation. There may even have been uh, deception here in the past. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing in the past. Now in the present moment, I do see somebody choosing to disconnect from the situation. Um, and somebody's trying to make sense of this. They're like, okay, hey, but what's going on here? I don't really understand what's going on. Why is this person watching you? Who is this person that's spying in the present moment that's watching? Leo, tell me more about the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is clarified by the Hierophant. You have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. Whoever this person is, they don't want you to completely give up on this situation. Like I said, I felt like there was a third party and the Three of Swords came popping out. So in the present moment, someone is trying to make sense of a third party situation. They're trying to make sense of whether or not you are going to give them a second chance in this marriage. Some of you are married to somebody in the present moment and they want to know, like, are we going to have a second chance? Are we going to try to work things out? Um, I feel like you don't want to though. You're disconnecting from this, okay? You're disconnecting from this. You don't want to be bothered um, by the situation because it's been filled with drama, okay? I'm also getting in the present moment that somebody here really wants to commit to you and it's hurting them because they don't know if you want this. They don't know if you're completely going to invest 100% into this, okay? And this is why your challenge here is the King of Cups because this person's sitting there and they're waiting. They're like, do you want me, Leo? Like, I want you, do you want me? what's the deal what's going on here so why is this person um disconnecting in the present moment with the six of swords So the Six of Swords is clarified by the King of Wands. You have the Page of Swords and the Three of Wands. You see, it's really interesting because whoever this person is, they're watching you. They're like, hey, what's Leo's next move? What's what's your next move, Leo? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Right. Um, and this person in the present moment, if they don't get the answer that they want, which again, they're they're wanting this with you, Leo, then they may decide to disconnect from this. I don't feel like you're the one that's disconnecting. I feel like your person is because they're not getting what they want from you. OK. And they may have told you what they wanted and maybe you're not ready to completely give them what they need. Um, but either way, I think, Leo, you're very defensive in the present moment with the Seven of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. What's the important message here for Leo in the present moment? so the seven of wands is clarified by the knight of swords the hermit and the ace of cups a lot of you are really thinking about this new beginning 
I don't think 100% you know if you want this or not. I think, Leo, in the present moment, you're kind of in this place of um, just doing your own thing, okay? Um, do you want new love here? I feel like you do, but at the same time, you're overthinking it or overanalyzing it, okay? And especially because Venus is going to be going retrograde, um, that may also be why a connection isn't moving to the next level at this time, okay, in the present moment. Now, in the near future, I see that there's a lot of silence. It's like you're disconnected from somebody here. Um, why? Because you're doing your own thing. You're really focused on your career. You're focused on your success. Like, this is where your brain is at in the near future. It's not really on love is what I'm seeing. Now, that can change when I clarify. Um, let me clarify the Queen of Swords. There's somebody here who is very much interested in speaking and communicating with you. You. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody here um, wants to speak to you, but the problem is, is they're not they're not expressing how they truly feel, okay? Because the moon is here and the five of pentacles is here. So this person is having a hard time confronting maybe the fact that you disconnected from them, maybe the fact that things didn't work out the way that they wanted to. Somebody here wants to talk to you, but I don't feel, Leo, and I have to be honest with you, I don't feel like this person's talking to you genuinely because the moon is here. This is somebody who is, who is very logical, but they're not expressing how they feel. And they may even only want, they may only want to talk to you or communicate with you for their own benefit okay nine of cups nine of cups is someone who's you know all about themselves they're all focused on me 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 okay and this may be the reason why a lot of you are just focused on yourself because maybe you're dealing with somebody here who's really just trying to get your attention for their own benefit okay nine of cups is all about somebody who's all about themselves okay this is self-indulgence and this person's coming towards you in that type of energy in the near future, okay? And that may be why you're not speaking to them. Tell me more about the high priestess. Why is there a lack of communication here um, in the near future for Leo? The High Priestess is clarified by the Knight of Wands. You have the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. The reason why a lot of you are disconnecting from this person is because the, whatever they're offering you in the near future is Page of Pentacles energy. This is small energy. It's a small offer. Um, Leo, a lot of you are learning that in the near future... Um, what you should be focused on... Okay, This is what a lot of you start to learn within yourself is yourself. Six of Cups, okay? Just like people come towards you focused on themselves and wanting to fulfill themselves, a lot of you are going to be doing the same thing here, okay? The reason why a lot of people want to make an offer to you, Leo, and they want to be around you is because you're successful in the near future, okay? And one of the things that I've noticed throughout your reading is, is that although you're very successful, a lot of you are starting to learn, especially in the present moment with the Seven of Wands, that you need to protect your energy, okay? A lot of people are going to see you. You're going to be very successful. Some of you are already very successful and you're just going to become even more successful here in the near future. Someone here is offering you something, but it's not enough. And I think you start to realize that. And that's why you're like, you know what? No, I don't need that. It's not for me. Tell me more about the six of wands. What's the important message here for Leo in the near future? The Six of uh, Wands is clarified by the Sun, the Ten of Swords, and the King of uh, Pentacles. You see, somebody finally offers you what you truly need after you end things with them. After you completely say, you know what? Look, Sun is your energy. Ten of Swords is, you know what? It's over. It's done. It's finished. There's something here that's going to come to an end. And I feel like when things finally come to an end, that's when this person wants to offer you something because you're closing things out. You're saying, you know what? I, I don't want to do this anymore. And this person may realize that in order for them to even get to you, to even have something with you, they need to offer just as much as you're offering to them. So Leo, if you're offering a lot to this person and they're not able to be honest with you and come towards you, which is what I'm seeing in the near future, they have a hard time really expressing um, what they need to express. Uh, if that doesn't happen, a lot of you, you know, choose to disconnect. That's what I'm seeing here because, you know, there's something here, Leo, about you learning in the near future to shift your focus on yourself. And whoever is going to come along is going to come along. You don't need to force anybody. And it's the same for your person. They don't need to force you. If you two are meant to be together and you're constantly questioning the connection, then maybe it's just not meant to be. Okay, and that's something that a lot of you are going to be learning because the moon is here in reverse. Everything that you need to know and learn in the near future about a new opportunity is going to stare you right in the face. And some of you may not be interested in it because you may feel like you don't need it. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Now, let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, so you have a choice. 
your 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 biggest piece of advice moving forward for this coming week is to make a decision about whether or not you want this relationship and if you do are you prepared to take the offer and if you're not then maybe you have another um path that you want to take and like i said for those of you watching some of you are going to know what i'm talking about you're going to know oh yeah i do have a potential relationship that i can move forward into but i don't know if i really want it and some of you may decide look i just want to be single like i just want to be single i want to focus on my success my career and then maybe later on down the road I might be interested in it but some of you are dealing with somebody who wants it now so if they don't get it from you now then you have your answer right you know okay maybe this isn't for me so either way your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to look at your life look at who you want in your life and who you don't want in your life okay you don't need to explain to this person why you don't want them in your life okay you do what's good for you Leo Okay. And, uh, by you doing what's good for you, that's going to be you making the right decision instead of making a decision just out of feeling like you need to make a decision moving forward. Okay. So this has a lot to do with your love life, has a lot to do with who you're allowing into your life, who you are giving maybe your resources to, who's giving resources to you. Is this the way that you see your life going? And if you don't, then that's something that you need to decide moving forward. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Leo. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.